hi everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to create table of content and add into your book using the canva app so i created a video where i show you how to format your kdp book in canva using your mobile phone and in that video i got a lot of questions about how to add table of content in the book because i omitted that part so that is why i'm doing this video to show you exactly how you can easily add table of content into your book using the app right so here is my book and to add table of content you're going to go to the page where you want to add the content here it is and then click design at the bottom and it's going to take you here on the search bar just type in table of content under the template section you can see the different templates that are available um, if you take a look, you're going to see some templates have the little crown, which is pro besides. So those are premium templates, meaning if you're using the free plan or the free Canva plan, you will not be able to get access to those templates. But if you have, if you are using the paid plan, you can easily get access to all of their templates. Now, because I am using the free plan, I'm going to scroll to search for any template that doesn't have the little crown on it. All right, so I'm going to choose this simple one. Tap on it and it's going to take you here where it says add template as a new page. And you can decide to add the template as a new page that is going to create a different page. Or you can replace the current page that you are on right now, the page that we opened. So I'm going to click on replace current page because I want the table of content to appear on that page. All right, so once it's in here, you can start customizing your template and all the elements on it. So I'm going to start with this, tap on it and go to color at the bottom and you can change this to a different color. I'm going to change to black. You can also delete any elements. Tap on it and click the delete icon at the top and you can see that the elements are editable, right? So now you can now add the different titles into your table of content here just tap on any text element and then you can just type in the title i'm going to manually type in the introduction part now the thing with canva is that you need to manually type in all of the titles and chapters in your book on your table of content um i don't know if there's a possibility to create an automatic table of content in canva so if you know how to do that please let me know in the comment section i'll gladly appreciate it all right, so what I'm doing is I'm just um, looking at the titles and I'm coming back to my table of content to manually type it in here. Right. All right, so once you're done with adding your titles and chapters automatically, next is to add the page numbers and we can just type in and edit this ones. Okay, introduction is the first page, the disclaimer page is the second page and you can just use your finger if in case you don't know the page number of your chapters and you're going to see the different page numbers. For example, step one is page five and step two, page six. So come back to your table of content and then just insert it in here. So that is how you can easily put in the uh, page numbers. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is to make our table of contents clickable so that once the reader is reading, they can just click on the table of content and it takes them directly to where they want to read. We're going to start with introduction, tap on it, and then come down here and scroll until you see where it says link. Um, but I haven't seen it here, so click on the three dots which says more and click scroll again until you see link so here it is click on that and then you're going to scroll down until you see where it says pages in this document so you're going to see different pages in the documents that you can link to right so i'm going to link it to the page which is the introduction page which is the number two page right so do the same for the second page disclaimer page go to link scroll down and pages in this document link it to the page click done and go to the step one so it's page number five step two page number six and then click done the next one so that is how you can just um easily link to any page in your book right so it's as simple as that so once you are done you can now download your book and let's test and see how our book is looking like all right so after downloading the book the book is in my files right now here it is Let's check out a table of content and see if it's clickable. Let's click on introduction and it takes us directly to introduction. Let's click on step two and it takes us to step two. The next one, right? 
now let's try and click on step one all right so you can see that all of chapters in our table of contents are clickable and you can the reader can easily navigate through your book using the table of content now just so you know you can only add clickable links to your table of content in an ebook if the book you're going to upload to amazon is going to be in an ebook format if you want to upload maybe like a paperback book a hardcover book you don't need to put a clickable table of content into your book all right guys so that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed the video and if it was helpful please leave a thumbs up and also share the video to those you know it might be helpful to them and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to the channel thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video